ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJA9ZT and we're back with WWE Champions in another 4 star gold character gameplay preview video and today we got Psycho Sid Vicious, the master and ruler of the world, is finally here in WWE Champions and he's looking kind of nice, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. I uh, did a couple quick matches to practice, and I was destroying people with him, so we're going to get into it. He's got a lot of move sets, probably more than I can even cover in one video, so let me show you a little bit today, and some things I don't show you today, I do have a couple more video ideas for him planned out that won't necessarily be about the preview, so some other things that might work well without move point trainers and that I'm going to do some tag link stuff for, so don't worry about that. There'll be plenty of Sid content to come in the coming days, so uh, let's get into it. Here we go. All right, Psycho Sid Vicious, Attitude Era. And I'm hearing a lot of people talking about this era, but you got it wrong. He's not Attitude Era. Let me tell you, he is Attitude Era, just like he is New Gen Era, just like he is Legends Era. So he's going to cover all of this ground, guys. I mean, you could argue so many things about it, and so many other characters in the game you could argue about too. But, since they add Vicious to the name, and he's got the WCW link with this look, I'm going to say this is like that late 97, 98, 99 WCW Sid Vicious, which is Attitude Era. And I see people on social media going, uh, that's WCW, they don't have Attitude Era. Like, the Attitude Era would cover all of wrestling during that time period. So, just because WCW didn't call themselves Attitude Era, they kind of started the Attitude Era, right? Like, New Gen was still rocking high, and WCW is the one who changed the game and brought the NWO out and started doing that kind of stuff first. So, there's that. Anyways, enough about wrestling history. Let's talk about Sid. I agree he was at his height at the new gen era. I will say that. Definitely at his height at that time of popularity in WWE. But this man was multiple time world champion in WCW with this look during the Attitude Era. So I'm I'm with it, Scopely. I'm with it. Attitude Era is just fine with me. Just fine with me. You could make another version of Sid New Gen and have him be like Million Dollar Corporation Sid. How about that? And you could bring out a third version of Sid and be Legends era Sid Justice with the blue trunks and all of that. So we could do all of that. We could do all of that. We got room in the future for it. Let's take a look at his poster. Coaching ability. Receive less damage from purple gems. Meh. I mean, you know, you might find an opportunity to put that in. I actually, you know what? There's times right now because coaches aren't plentiful like trainers that I'll find myself with an empty coach slot on somebody and really nobody useful to put there. So in those kind of cases, I think I would take less damage from Purple Gems. So, you know. Link bonus, Millionaire's Club, World Championship Wrestling, and Attitude Era. So I will be covering that World Championship Wrestling with him. I got something special planned for that. So be on the lookout for uh, Tag Links, WCW, or Sid with the Hot Tag. One of those, I don't know, I might do both. I might because there's so many ways to run Sid. But, let's get into the first move set I'm going to show you today. I'll use all the moves, so we'll get into the other moves as we get there. Uh, the first move set I'm going to use. Now, mind you, yellow 2 is going to be the 4-star move. This would be a 3-star move set. If you happen to get Sid at 3, I didn't even look through the contest details yet, to be honest with you. I don't know if it's possible to get him at 3-star. But if it is, you guys always say, why don't you throw, show 3-star builds? This would be a 3-star build, okay? So, we got the finisher, 11 charge black, deal 35,562 damage, destroy four random black gems, and pin the opponent. We have the two-handed choke slam, the other black move, 9 charge, deal 22,043 damage, and increase the strength of your power gems by 12,373. And we got the big boot blue move, 1 charge, deal 1,400 damage, and choose two gems to make into power gems of strength 3,256. So... We got an every turn power gem guy right here. With my entourage here, I'm going Bray Wyatt because I want to get to the two-handed choke slam as quick as possible, okay? And I got Triple H Corporate on there because he's making more gems into power gems. So now we got six power gems of strength 3256. And I got six on there to uh, help me out with sub damage at some point. So I'm going to go against submission guys today. 
I want to go against Yokozuna because he's got all that crazy amount of health here. So we are going to do it. Sid versus Yoko. Class disadvantage. Sub protect guy. We're going to see uh, just what Psycho Sid's all about, man. Those little chair props with the power gem on it. <sighs> Sid can waste anyone. When you get to those matches where they got the jam reduction buffs on your tours and that, open tours. Drop 15 of them power gems with Sid. Hit the two-handed choke slam. Game over. Anybody. All right, so we got the black match we're going to want. Turn one. Cha-pop! Hit him with the boot. Don't break your leg, though, Sid. Don't break your leg. Put some over there, some over there. Bada boom. All right, black match. Ooh, look at that. 39K turn one. He's not even charged yet. There's a part of me that says, just wait a second here. And I could power these power gems up now, or I could wait another turn. Let's set up a bigger one here. Ah, of course he would. I didn't even notice that. It happens to the best of us, and then it happens to me too. Okay, we still got plenty of power gems down. Now we're going to hit the two-handed choke slam. So each of these power gems here is going to increase by 12,373. Pow! And then when we hit the finish, it's going to destroy random black gems. That's also going to set off all of these power... Oh, it's going to break two of the power gems, but whatever. I should have went a turn earlier. Ooch! 292k! 292! Dang, hit him with it, Sid. Look at this guy. He's going to kick out. Unbelievable. How does a showboat kick out at 292K right there? Answer me that. Answer me that. Oh. That is just crazy talk. Get your power gems out of here. Ugh, I don't even want to break all any of mine. I'm just going to do that. I just want all the power gems to hit. Bop! Okay, now you're dangered. Now I can hit something with a row break or something. If he leaves it for me. There's no way he should have kicked out a 292. Is that literally like just that because of the class advantage or what? Because that's just, that's just crazy talk. Now I got, oh yeah, I got one. Okay. Boom, boom, done. All that health, Yokozuna, and that's the best you could do. Crazy good power gem guy. Crazy good power gem guy. If you had Elias, you could consider not running Bray and trying to get there faster. If I had better perks, maybe, too. But uh, tour perks are leveling kind of slow right now. I'm only starting with one extra move point, and I don't even think I'm getting bonus when I match black for that. We can check it before the next match. All right, let's switch move sets here. Let me go. I got a got a little bit of notes right here. Okay, let's just see. Let's put the yellows in. So, we got the release front suplex. Yellow, 7 charge. Deal 14,000 damage and cause your opponent to bleed for 3 turns. During each of these turns, there's a 33% chance to deal 149k bleed damage to your opponent. Spinning crucifix toss. Deal 16,328 damage and convert all power gems into blast gems. That's the wild card right there, guys. That's what, uh, I got some stuff for another video for that. But, we're gonna get to it with this one. We're going to take Bray, and we're going to need to replace Bray for Akum. Still using Triple H here. 
Uh, I mean, we could put Rikishi on there. I'm not gonna do it because I'm I'm not sure I'm gonna need to to cycle through there twice. I might as well. I better do it. A lot of people have Rikishi. I get a couple comments here and there that say I wish you'd do these videos without using those kind of guys. It's like, but why? You want to see the potential? Just because you don't have that, take one turn off, like take one charge off. You can do the. You could figure it out from where I'm at with that. I'd rather do that than show him at a lesser state and then people try to figure out if he'd be better or not. I want to show full potential. Full potential. All right. Let's see the yellow moves in action. Then we'll do one more on here and we'll get that other blue move in so you guys can see it. Alright, we got a yellow break on the board. So that's good. I don't know about this percent bleed damage though. Last time we had this, it didn't do me very good. Boom. Of course he gets what he needs. All right, let's make sure we got this bleed damage attempting. I'd love to see somebody do that to Yokozuna. Oh, I didn't even... Okay, yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. I thought I forgot to leave myself a match. I'm like, that's why I picked that other green one, though. Blows up the board there. Some nice damage, although you lose all your power gems when you do that. He's bleeding. Come on, bleed out. Come on, hit that big one. No, oh, come on. Bleed damage didn't work. Three turns there didn't get him with it. Oh, look at all that yellow. Son of a gun. Luckiest board of all time. Class advantage. And I'm still giving him that work. He's going to get yellow again. Yep. Well, first off, let's get rid of that. There, how do you like it when I wipe purple off the board, buddy? Get rid of some of these protect. And I can't break yellow. And there's no purple. To, oh, I mean, there's that one. I mean, there was no other. There we go. This one's not going as well as I would have hoped. If that bleed damage would have hit, we'd be looking a lot better, but you can't predict that 33% chance bleed damage. All right, let's wipe his protect gems out again. So anybody that leaves countdown gems every turn annoying moves like that, Sid's going to be awesome to counter them. No purple to block him again. Black for the most damage I can do here anyways. Slowly wearing him out. There he gets his purple. Of course he does. Of course he does. Start moving him up the board a little bit there. All right, we're getting the power gems this time. Or the blast gems. <laughs> Whatever, this is like the whole board here. There we go. I ain't even hitting the bleed damage now. What's the point? Look at them blast gems. Pow! 
<laughs> you gotta love it, guys. You gotta love it. That was a little slower to set up or whatever. If that bleed damage would have hit him while he was in that cover early, it would have definitely, he would not have been able to kick out. So that was like the crapshoot there. We'll do one more. We'll get that, uh, we'll get that other blue move in. He does have a choose black gems move, which is crazy to me that we got a striker with a choose black move and I haven't even put it in until the last move set. I think that first move set is going to be the best move set. Okay, let's get the other blue move in. This one here, it's either like you could do either or. If you're going to run double blue, you could run the finisher or the move that ups your power gems. For a solo match, I would lean towards the finisher. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. No, I don't know. Increase your power gems. Let's just do that. I don't think we'll need the finisher per se because the choose move is going to... I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lean towards the finisher for solo. If it was a showdown match and I had a tag partner, I would certainly use the other move, but... Um, let's get rid of Rikishi and go with Andre. So we can charge them blue up faster. And we're going to get rid of Akum. And we're going to go with Lawler. And we're going to get rid of Triple H for the first time here. And we're going to go with Titus. Okay, so, military press slam. Eight charge blue move, deal 15,000 damage and choose three gems to make into black gems. With Titus on there, we're choosing seven to turn into black. Our power gem strength's going down, but our gem strength is going up here. So, see how this one works out. Should be pretty decent still. Like I said, you could sub either or black move for this one. Shout out to JRS1, as always, for talking over these move sets with me, too. Sometimes, like, I just look at them all at first, and just, like, your brain just starts going, like, a million different directions. And if I don't pull a pen and paper out and start writing it all down, it doesn't go good. So, I like to just have that quick conversation, like, hey, what do you see? You know what I'm saying? Like, do you see the same thing I see? Or maybe you see something I'm overlooking. Always nice to have someone to, uh, talk over movesets with you. Everybody in the game, you should have somebody in your faction or in the community that... When you're just looking over people, that you got somebody that you just bounce everything off of. Let's see here. We're hitting black, or we're hitting that next turn, anyways. So black's gonna be the way to go. Yeah, I'm gonna keep my power gems low. Stay away from cascades. These will start creeping up on him. So we're going to choose black here. There's not a tremendous amount I can do with it. Like, what's the point of trying to set up cascades to bring green gems in? You know what I mean? Like, you'd be better off just to, to get more black gem damage. Wow, 115k and did not pin him so we still get to hit the finisher this turn and that's only going to be two black gems that stinks 61k 
Yeah, in that case, I maybe was better to save that finisher for a turn there, huh? Because that finisher was very unimpressive like this. I feel like the finisher you're holding on to to like just to make sure you can push the pin meter there. Don't break the blue. Oh, which one, right? Man, there's so much blue on the board now. There you go. Was counting on that one. Thank you. Take that purple away so he don't get it. Now we're finally starting to build up some power gem damage here. Yeah, I don't know. That finisher was so unimpressive after because you're wiping the black gems out with the choose move. Probably would have been best to use the other black move with this set. Because then my power gems would have wasted him super quickly after that first exchange. So, I didn't try this one before I went in. So, with that being said, going forward, like, I would not use... Like, the finisher will be good on my next turn if he kicks out, but... Yeah, I would definitely use the other black move with that move set. So, what do you guys think of Sid overall? And I know there's stuff that you haven't seen that you would try on his move sets yet. But like I said, don't worry. I got a couple more videos. I'm going to do them in some tag matches and stuff. So, I'm going to work some other ones out on that. But this is your first look. I think Sid looks absolutely awesome. And I really hope I can get my hands on him. Hope I am a lucky one. And I hope you are too. So uh, thanks for watching. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It'll take you like one second. Just right down below the video. Big red button says subscribe. Click on that. Drop an insane elbow right down on that thumbs up button while you're down there. And uh, until next time, guys. Peace.